You want to know why you get human attraction on this journey, man? Um, and why you shouldn't stress over any woman that you're dealing with or have dealt with in the past or the present that's trying to treat you like you ain't that and you know you that. Okay, first and foremost, you set yourself apart. Let's get that out the way. You become a rare breed. Like you're really a like a rare. You're really a one of the one one of the ones. You know what I'm saying? Without saying it though, because you got the energy that's backing you up, right? Just the thought alone of pure masculinity, pure divine masculinity, is going to turn that woman on. Then she knows women want a sense of security. Like I know that that man is going to go to war for me. He could protect me, provide for me, and I'm gonna have fun with him. And I just get this, I get I get a different feeling from him than the other guys that I'm messing with. Because, you know, women, they, I don't care. I don't care what they say, bro. And I'm not going to say all women, but I'm going to just say, like, I'm going to just say the woman that I see, the woman that I see or I saw when I was vibrating low, all of them that I saw, they dressed provocatively. Um, because they enjoyed the attention they was getting from simp men, like men that was tricks, men that would trick off their money, trick off their attention, their energy, and their time to them. You know what I'm saying? Whether they paying for nails, hair, gas, food, um, uh, uh, substance abuse, you name it, they gonna do it. Just because they think of what they they head down there and they feel like either they either they getting led on by the woman basically getting played or they could just be a little a, a nice ass nigga old nice ass nigga with a big heart that's just doing nothing kind of but man it's always a hidden agenda so that's why i don't play that uh he's just a friend type man go on someone with that but um because if he's just a friend Hit him up right now and, and, and say, hey, uh, what's the name? I'm trying to give you some pussy. What's up? What you doing? I guarantee you that man's going to pull up and beat that ass in. Beat them, stump, beat them guts in. Them watery guts in until he buzz. Shout out to the service code. But for real, I guarantee you. Ain't no such thing, no goddamn friend. And y'all know that. So go on, go on smoke that shit. But, um... Just know that if you got a woman that's taking you, taking advantage of you, and taking you for granted, like really, and you feel it in your heart that she's taking it granted, taking you for granted, and not seeing your value, man, you better run. You better show her that you can do just as good without her as you're doing with her. Show that you got a backbone, my nigga, that you can leave and be comfortable with leaving and be comfortable with being by yourself. Who cares if they get mad? They can't whoop your ass. And leave. Leave. Excuse me. Leave. You're going to grow on your lonesome. I don't know about you. The epiphanies happen. I think better when I'm alone in my isolation. Like, I remember when I was locked up. And I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, Man, I got so much stuff to do. I'm finna cut off women. I'm finna do this, that, and the third. Da, 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 da. You know. And the whole time, I was fasting in there. Because I wasn't finna eat that food. So I kind of fasted by default. I was still working out. I was just plotting. I was doing a lot of thinking and reflecting. Stop, Marcel. Stop, man. I do this every time I do a video. Every time. You were just chilling. Literally was just chilling, sitting down in the hall. Um, yeah, man, that's why you get women attraction, for real. It's because you're a rare breed. Oh yeah, and I said that because um, if you being taken for granted, man, just, 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 just detach yourself, my guy. Focus on yourself even more. They gon' realize that they took you for granted 
and that you was a rare breed, that you was really rare. Like, like yeah. Once they see you as a quality man, they gon' they gonna come back, bro. Like seriously. Don't stress over no woman, man. Don't stress. Don't, don't force a woman to be with you. You can't force love out of somebody. You can't force them to love you. They, you can't force them to pay attention to you. To not be busy for you. Yo, if, she, if that woman says she's busy. If she says she's busy and she's been busy. Bro, she's busy for your ass. She is not busy. I repeat, she is not busy. Do not fall for the bullshit. I repeat, she is not busy. Trust me. You want to know how I know? Hit her with some bullshit. Hit her with some bullshit. Accuse her of some shit. I bet you she be texting fast like a motherfucker then. Go ahead. Try. 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 I guarantee you. Hit her with some slick shit. I bet you she texts back fast then. But she was just busy though. Women love games. So be that man who know how to play the game, my nigga. Don't get played out you. Just play the game. And another way to play the game is to not play at all. It's, it's sick. It's, it's weird. But it works. It works. Especially dealing with, with these women out here because the, game, the, the roles have reversed, my guy. I'm going to keep you saying that. I'm going to keep repeating that because the Matrix has forced women to get more in a masculine role and embrace that masculine role. You know, it's push. Um, it's pushed. Like, women are, you know how, like, men be rapping about, I got this, I got a roster full of hoes, and niggas, like, women are rapping about that. Women are rapping about how I got a nigga for this and nigga for that. And uh, it's my way or no way. Basically trying to take the leadership role, like, what I say goes. Do that even sound right? Like, hell no. And you got men, like, prime example. When Ice Spice popped off. When she was like, you know, that nigga's a munch. <laughs> like when she popped up right bruh i remember watching the video she was walking like i don't know where she was walking to she was at a war show or some shit or maybe she was doing a walkthrough i don't know there was literally a guy that said looked at her and said yo i'm a munch i, I be your munch i be your munch and she would looked at her she not her she looked at him with the kind of like a disgust but smiled like huh. Like, uh, like, nah, you feel me? Women don't like that shit, bro. Newsflash, bro. They don't like that thirsty ass energy, bro. They like it for the attention, but they don't like it. Like, nigga, you look like a biatch. Just letting you know that. A thirsty ass biatch. And you not going to be something that she remembers. She'll remember you for how thirsty you was. You'll just be another topic in the group chat. That's it. Another topic in the group chat with her and her friends talking shit about you, man. I had this one thirsty ass nigga. This nigga would not leave me the fuck alone, girl. I thought I was gonna have to whoop his ass. Like I went to the gas station. I'm pumping gas. This nigga was literally like, "Hey, ma, oh, but I hate when niggas call me ma." Like, nigga, who is you talking to? First of all, I had to tell that nigga like, "Um, you gonna come to me correct or don't come at all?" Da 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 da. Like rolling the neck, all of this neck rolling. Patting they wig, scratching they real hair. <laughs> like, it get, it get like that. It get like that, bruh. It get like that. Like, man, look, for example, look, I was talking to the woman, right? She older than me. And she was like, I'm staying single this year, right? I said, why you why you staying single? You focusing on yourself, huh? She said, yeah. And um, I'm tired of, she was like, like, I'm tired of having that fake ass sex with my baby daddy. Like I'm, I'm really like I really don't like him. I was like, what you don't like about him? She was like, I just don't like him. I was like, so it ain't nothing you put out. She was like, I just don't like him. I was like, but you fucking him though. She was like, not anymore. Like I'm done. Like I'm single. And so then I was like, uh, 
yeah, that's that's cool. I was like, I'm not taking that woman seriously, bro, because y'all y'all be having a roster full of niggas. Like you saying you sing, you a stick, and you like cause she, after she said that, she was like, I'm gonna just have me a. She said, I'm gonna have me a work boyfriend or a work husband. Then I'm gonna have me a side nigga. Then I'm gonna have me a, a situation ship. Uh, she she named like a list full of niggas. Like I'm gonna have me a nigga that do this for me, do that for me, do that for me. And in my head, I'm like, you gonna run yourself raggedy as hell. Like that's a lot of energy to put up with all of those niggas. Cause I'm thinking about me having multiple bitches like that. And I'm like, bro, that's too much, way too much. You know what I'm saying? And so I so I flipped the script on her. I said, what if you got a man that does all of that? Oh yeah, she and then she was like, I'm gonna have a man that rub my feet and da 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 da. And I'm like, okay, what if you get a man that does all of that, huh? She was like, I'm not committing. I'm not doing nothing to third. I'm like, but y'all want a man that's has a big dick, tall as hell, got his own everything, that's God fearing, that committed to you, obsessive. Uh, you want a big dick nigga that's obsessive over you, but you not doing nearly half the shit that's required. Then on top of that, you want a nigga to be straight up with you because another thing she said, she was like, I want another nigga that's just going to be straight up with you. Like, if you got multiple women you're dealing with, just tell me that. If you're dealing with this, then just tell me that. Just tell me that. I'm like, so you want that, but you can't get a man the same respect. You can't tell a man, like, look, you're not the only nigga I'm talking to. You want to lead him on and act like you the only man I'm talking to. I'm not taking him serious. Even if you talking, even, okay, let's say I'm talking to multiple men, but you're the man that I'm taking seriously. I'm not taking these, these niggas just to pass time because I'm leading them on. But with you, I'm actually taking you serious. I actually see a future with you. Believe it or not, and then after that, I said, and see, that's why men don't take y'all seriously. Because y'all got multiple niggas that y'all can literally have just, just grant access at any time. Like, prime example, bro. And all women that I've dated, like minor women, I've, I've dated, they did this. Let's say we get into an argument or anything, right? They'll start posting like they single, you know. Uh, just you know how women play play the mind games. Want to be basically be, be put in their place, but especially how I am right now, bro. I'm not finna put no woman in their place, bro. If you want to do that, that's that's out of my control. I'm not finna be stalking your page and watching to see if niggas is hitting you up and you replying to them and shit like that. Like nobody got time for that shit. I got this little boy that's right next to me. I gotta take care of. I'm worried about. I'm not gonna be worrying about your ass, bro. You a grown ass woman. Yeah. But women just They're it's complicated like, creatures by can, nature bro can, They gonna test you in yeah. any way they can and Get you in line bro This is a tug of war You know what I mean And so And it don't matter the age As far as maturity bro Some women either gonna change Or they gonna stay stuck in their ways bro And how I was speaking to her It seemed like she not changing for shit She, she staying stuck in her ways and then another thing she said was like, man, it's cool to be an adult, but, you know, sometimes women, we got needs and wants, and we just want to have fun, and then I'm like, and see, men, like, I don't know about other men, but me, I can't afford to do that shit. Like, men can't afford to be reckless with our energy and shit. You won't even respect us for being all, uh, for be like, dicking around and, you know, wasting time and shit. You want us on our purpose, on our mission, grinding and shit. Yeah, it's time to have fun. It's it's cool to have fun every once in a while to relax and shit, but then it's right back to the fucking grind. Like you, you ain't got time for laying up bullshit or like hell no. And right then and there, the conversation was done. I was like, bro, see that's why you gotta put yourself first. Cause women they'll they have multiple men they're speaking to, just so they want to get attached to the to the one man that they know that they should be taken seriously. Based off past experiences they had with men that they took seriously, and then they basically took their heart and and wore the biggest Timberland boots and stumped on that shit. I'm talking about really was stepping on this shit like, give me your hand, give me your hand, 
I need to get out the way. I need to get out the way. Like they was really stepping on their heart and then went to their friend and then went to their friend and their friend. Like, like, so I understand it. I understand the game. I just know I'm not going to be playing in that shit. I'm not a player. I'm, a, I'm, I'm more so like a general. I'm a coach. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a coach y'all ass. I ain't playing shit. I'm going to just sit back and observe and just watch like, okay, I see what type of game she on. I see what's her love language. I see what's her love language. I see that this nigga is the crazy motherfucker that's going to pop up out of nowhere. I see that this nigga right here, he really don't, he don't like control his dick at all. I see this nigga right here. This nigga is just a bitch ass nigga. Like he, he, he one of them niggas that's gonna stalk her page and see, oh, you talking to this nigga? Oh, I'm finna sit outside your crib. Like I can see he that creepy ass nigga. I see he really a pedophile. You know, you just, I'm, that's, that's the type of nigga I'm gonna be on this journey. The more I grow, I'm gonna just sit back and watch and observe and listen. And just watch how people moving on a daily basis. See how people expose themselves, man. But yeah, man, that was a little ism for y'all. Uh, I'll come back to y'all later when my son is not all on me because he want to play, so I'm finna play with him until he go to sleep. And uh, if something pops up in my head, I'll drop some more content, man. I'm a dog off gunpowder, man, on this channel. We all about self-righteousness, self-development, self-improvement, putting yourself per first, purpose of a pleasure, man. Shout out to you if you cultivate your energy. Shout out to any woman that's going to watch this because the woman woman attraction is going to be on the title. But, uh, yeah, man, it's a lot of little sprinkle of ism, ism and jewels up in there, man. Take what you want and apply it to you if you relate to it, man. Peace.